I'm Erin, the Two Martini Stitcher, here on YouTube and Instagram, and this is my channel about cross stitch and sometimes knitting, but not today. Today we are here for a floss tube special, and I am going to do my 2020 end of the year whip parade. I don't know about y'all, but I love whip parades. I love watching them, show me all the projects. I have my one, two, three stitch wish list up while I'm watching. This is gonna be a long one, y'all. So get yourself something to drink. I have some Energize, because <laughs> I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need to be hydrating and lightly caffeinating through this. I do not know if this is gonna go up in one or two parts. Uh, we'll see how long it takes and how much memory I have um, on my surface. So before we get started, I figured I'd give you kind of a little year-end recap because in preparation for this, I did all the counting and I came up with all of my numbers. Are you ready? Run them all down. Okay, so I started the year with 38 whips. I did a whip parade last year. You can go check it out. It's, um, I'll do a playlist. I'll put a playlist of whip parades. And so I started the year with 38. Yes. I started during the year, during the course of 2020, I started 90 projects. Y'all, it didn't feel like that many. It did not feel like I was starting that many projects, but I did. Uh, I UFO'd two projects throughout the year, so two projects um, just went into the UFO pile. I had 56 finishes, so see the 90 doesn't sound so bad when you throw in the 56 finishes. <laughs> Apparently I like to start and finish a whole lot of small things, medium small things, and I also like to start a bunch of big projects because the whip parade today is going to have my 70 whips. So 70. So that's what I'm ending the year with. I started with 38, I'm ending with 70. Didn't quite double my whip count, but came close. So we'll see how long this is. Um, I gave up during the year of entering my stitch count for full coverage projects. So I don't have a stitch count for how much I did on the full coverage pieces. And we'll maybe talk whip go, what was a whip go, what will be a whip go. Um, maybe as we go, I'll probably forget. Uh, I'll probably, I will be doing uh, next week, at the beginning of the week, a regular floss tube update um, where I will show you the things that I have worked on in this last week of December and we'll talk, we'll talk plans then. Today is just going to be whip parade. I am going to be going in order from date started. So we're going to be starting with the oldest and going through to the newest. I did not iron anything because 70 whips, y'all. I also am going to be opening the bags, taking them out, putting them back in, zipping, reclosing bags. So if that annoys you, just you're forewarned. You're forewarned, but I, I need things to stay in some semblance of order. I'm still going to end up with big piles. So I think that's it. I think that's it for administrative stuff. Uh, are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so my oldest whip, my oldest whip, I have my spreadsheet up on my tablet, but it's not really such that I can see dates. So I'm not gonna tell you what date I started, just know that this is the oldest. These are the, I'm going from oldest to newest. So my oldest whip, which I started in April of 2019 is Harry Potter book covers. These full coverage ones, they hang around for a while. So I am stitching this on, uh, it's by Fox and Teacup Designs. I am stitching it on 18 count Ada. I should have taken the big ones out. I didn't. Um, it's on 18 count Ada with all the called for DMC. I will put a picture in right here um, of the last time it was out of the Q-snap and I took a full picture of it. So I'll put that in right here. Uh, 
So that's when it was out of the queue snap when I got to the bottom of book two. And um, I'm now working up at the top of book three. My full coverage pieces have been largely ignored for the past two months and I miss them and I'm very excited to get back to working on them regularly in 2021. This is on WIPGO 2021 and my goal is to finish books three and four. So there's where we are. That is Harry Potter book covers. All right, one down. <laughs> All right, next one is a Mill Hill kit, and um, this one is Latte. So that's the kit, and um, here's where I am on it. And I work on this very sporadically. Like, here's the thing with 70 Whips, y'all, is I like this. I would like to have this someday by my coffee station. I'm not in a huge hurry, and it'll get done when it gets done, and... Um, I think I might have had this out in the arbitrary August, but I like the Mill Hill kits, they're really fun. So that's where I am on Latte. I have a whole bunch of like the little magnet ones that I'll get done someday. Okay, next oldest is my Christmas list by Silver Creek Samplers. I am stitching this on a 16 count Ada by Picture This Plus in the colorway Wren with called for DMC, but I am using a toile for the snow, where it's, where the white is snow. And this is where I am on that. This is on my whip go for a finish in 2021. And my plan is to do one like motif and saying a month. Some of them are kind of smaller and I'm gonna have like, there's more than 12 left so i'm gonna have to double up some months but this will be jolly 25 stitching next year and i want to do one a month and get this finished so that's my christmas list next up is do, do, do. Quaker Geometric Puzzle by Ink Circles. I'm doing this colorway. There's two that she shows and gives the numbers for. I'm stitching this on a 32 count white even weave with the called for DMC. And this is my progress on it. Um, I believe this is on my WIPGO board because every single one of my large projects, which for me is over like 200 stitches by 200. So if you take the width and the height and you add them together and divide by two, so if like you square the stitch count, if it's over 200, I consider that a large project. And all of my large projects are on my WIPGO board to get 12 days of work next year. So that's where I am on Quaker Geometric Puzzle. I love, love, love this piece. Um, I love Ink Circles and Tracy Horner. There's so many of these big, big ones that I, I want to stitch. Mm, one at a time. Oh, I missed one. This is actually my second oldest after um, Harry Potter book covers. It was hiding in there. Uh, and I don't have a... Oh, yeah, I do. Here we go. This is French Claw. Friends Collage. I actually think it's just called Friends. Um, it is by an Etsy shop, and I am cross stitch. Uh, I don't think it says anywhere. It's one of those designers that doesn't put their name, I don't think, on their stuff. So, but this is it. This is actually another rare one that's in a Q snap just because the Ada is super stiff. It's on white Ada. Um, I am using all the called for DMC. So I have like this all done, this center part done. I am not quite halfway on this, but about, but about, because I have like the little chicken duck done. So this is another one that like, I love it. I, it's super fun. I will finish it someday and I will hang up in my house. And I have learned over the past 
year and a half of being on floss tube and being really, really, really into stitching that I am a process stitcher. I just enjoy stitching and it all gets done when it's done. Okay, next up is Autumn Drum by The Blue Flower. This is an exclusive to Acorns and Threads. At least it was, it might still be. Uh, and I bought it as a kit. I didn't use the kit fabric because it's on 40 count and at the time I had stitched on 40 count, I was scared of it. So I'm using a 36 count flax, but with the silks from the kit. I have the top of the drum completely done. So that's all finished and I've started working on the side and I have the A. I mean, this could potentially be, it's not on my Webco board, but this could potentially be a finish this year because these, I think, go pretty quick, these big letters with just a little squirrel on them. We'll see. I love it. This was purchased on my very first trip ever to Acorns and Threads. So it's just gonna, it's just special to me. All right, next up is Knee High by Hands On Design. I am stitching this on a, it's either a 16 or 18 count Ada. It was white, I tea coffee dyed it myself. I'm stitching it with the called for um, threads. I did sub out the green here. I think called for guacamole or avocado or something that I didn't have and so I used corn husk. So that's where I am on knee high. This was like my Midwest stitch. Like I would take it and stitch it every time I went back to the Midwest to visit family and friends. Obviously did not get a lot of work in 2020. <laughs> I think it came up for arbitrary August and that was it. So that's that. Uh, I am gonna try to remember to tell you everything about floss and fabric for each one. However, if I miss something or you want to Go back and see, I will link below a link to my whip spreadsheet that has all the information about all of the whips. As far as fabric, floss, stitch count, why I started it, if there's a hashtag, yada yada. Okay, next up, Holiday Quaker by Lila Studio. I am stitching this on, I know I have the tag here somewhere, a 36 count pearl gray linen with the called for flosses. I think I might be using anchor black instead of 310. I think that's about it. And that's where I am. <laughs> this is an old whip for just having that much done, but it's a big piece. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna take this whole thing. I am notorious for putting things on a big old whack of fabric. And I'll cut the fabric later. <laughs> It'll be fine. But that's where I am on Holiday Quaker. This, yeah, that one's a large piece, so that's on the let go board. It's a big mama. Big mama. Okay. Next up is another hands-on design. This is Neo Block. And I have the pins for it. It comes with a little bit of felt. These are really, these are really cute and fun. I'm not very far though. Uh, I am doing this on, um, is the tag still on here? It is, Acorns tag. Oh, 28 count flax. I think it called for 28 and so that's what I'm doing it on because then it makes all the dimensions come out right. It probably comes out right on any count, but there's where I am. And I'm using all the called for flosses on this. And that's where I am so far on the side. I haven't even started the top. Mm -hmm. All right. Caplet went to sleep. This is gonna be a problem consistently, I think. 
Okay. Oh. All right. Next up is Midnight Watch by Blackbird Design. I started this in 2019 for Carla Bean Crafty's Black Cat birthday sale. Still not done. I might actually, Becca, Sambry Stitches is doing a Blackbird birthday sale in January. And now that she's a cat person, maybe I'll pull this out and work on this for her birthday. Uh, I'm doing this on something. Winter's Brew, 32 count Winter's Brew by r and with, I think mostly called for colors or the DMC equivalent or the called for DMC. I know that I did swap out the cat because the cat was really like a dark brown. It was this on the, and so I'm pretty sure I used cast iron skillet for the cat. And that's where I am on Midnight Watch. I am not going to be doing the whole alphabet. I'm gonna do my the year, my initials up here, and then square off the border. So I'm also not totally positive I'm gonna do all these little orange jobbies because I kinda, I don't know, we'll see how I feel when it's done. Mm -hmm. um, maybe I will. I was thinking I like this look. I saw somebody on Instagram that hadn't done it and I was like, oh, that looks really good to just have it like that. And top knot is your best cat needle binders. All right, so that's Midnight Watch. Next up is, sorry y'all, oh, phone somewhere where it's not going to vibrate all the time on the tabletop. Okay, next up is Sophia by Summerhouse Stitchworks. This is actually like a set of four called the Baltimore Brides. Um, I know I have at least one more of them. I like three out of the four, we'll see. So that's Sophia. I am doing this on a 32 count. Mm, I can't remember. I don't think it says either. I got this uh, fabric off of Stash and Load and it's either, I think it's a 32 count. Uh, picture this plus in mallow, not mellow, mallow. Um, and I had started it with two strands and it was too bulky. It was just too crowded on this 32. So I restarted it with one and that's where I am on it. And that's the called for DMC. Calls for like, I don't know, three or four colors of DMC. So there we go. So that's Sophia. Next up is Playing with Jacks. And I started this as a stitch along with Leslie Hurley. Leslie and her Leslie Hurley and I were hosting the stitch along. I'm not sure either of us have finished it. I clearly haven't. It's clearly still a whip. A lot of people did. <laughs> I just have. Uh, I'm using all of the called for DMC and am doing it on hmm, what fabric is this? See if I have a tag hanging around somewhere that tells me what the fabric is. Nope. Oh, yep, I do. Valor. Picture this plus Valor, Belfast. And that's where I am. Actually, I'm pretty decent. I mean, not too bad. This pumpkin's not totally done, but that one's mostly done. The center one's done. So I have two more over here, the border. I mean, not halfway, but I love this. I'm doing the, um, you'll see it's got a, instead of doing this pumpkin, I'm doing this forest pumpkin, which was a freebie uh, on the Cricut collection. You can, if you Google around, it's called the forest pumpkin. If you Google around, you'll find it. If you can't let me know, and I might be able to dig up a link. But, so that's playing with Jacks. That was on my whip go for this year. I failed miserably at my whip go. I think I put 
too many things on his finishes uh, and then started 90 things. So, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Uh, this one was also on my whip go as a finish. Come on now, Erin. Uh, Game of Swans. And I am doing this on tag. I can't remember what color this is. I mean, I used to know these all like off by heart. The linens. Mm, I don't know that I have a tag. But it'll be on the it'll be on the uh, spreadsheet. I want to say pearl gray, but it's not pearl gray. Storm gray? I don't know. But I am using all of the called for gentle arts, which looks to me very different from the listed DMC conversion. So if you see this finish with DMC, it's very different colors. And this is where I am. I have finished one page. Oh, love it though. Long dog. Mm, I'm gonna stitch all of the long dogs. It's probably not happening in this lifetime. Oh, here it is. Silvery Moon. It's Silvery Moon. 36 count linen in Silvery Moon with called for gentle arts. Okay, next up is, I have two projects in here. So I gotta find them in the right order. Okay, Penny Autumn by Plum Street Samplers. Can you tell we're into fall now? I like to stitch with the seasons. And here is where I am. I'm stitching this with All Called For, and this is on, I think, platinum. I think it's on a platinum linen or flax. One of the two, probably platinum. Wow, that's wrinkly, but there we go, Penny Autumn. See, I love these, I'll finish them someday. Someday I'll just decide that it's time for them to be done and I will finish them. Okay, we're gonna put that aside because the next one on the list is, Cinnamon Stars. I have this on Whipgo board for a finish. And my Whipgo goals are yearly goals. They're for the year, not like to get done necessarily in the month that they're called. This has been called for January. So Cinnamon Stars. And I am stitching this on 36 count Old Town Blend by R&R with called four colors. And this is where I am. So like I can finish that this year, right? Lots of people have finished this, I could finish it. Sure, no problem. No, maybe. It's good to have lofty goals. That's all I'll say. I'll leave it right there. Okay, so Cinnamon Stars. Next up is back in this bag. It, they share some flosses and we're started close together, so that's why they share a bag. Turkey Bay by Plum Street Samplers. I'm stitching this on a white linen, 36 count. Yep, 36, one strand. And this is where I am on that. You can kind of see the, I mean, once this gets, it gets filled in with water around it. it so there we go. I mean, I have decent progress on that. I know I work, I worked on every single one of my whips this year. They all got touched. Um, they were either started, if they were a whip from the year before, everything got worked on at least once because I work on everything. If it has not been worked on yet that year, I work on them on their birthdays so that I can at least like work on it, see if I still love it, see if it's a project I wanna keep going with. And two things got you a phone, but that's not bad. And they were things that I started way back at the very beginning of me getting back into cross stitch. And y'all know, taste change. Okay, next up is Martini Witches by Prairie Moon. I am stitching this on 32 count Stormy Night Belfast Linen. 32 count Stormy Night with the called for silks. This is the first time I like splashed out and bought myself the silks because this felt like a, like a special chart. So I've got one, almost one little witch done. All of her. 
I love her and her martinis so much. So that is Martini Witches. I'm not the biggest Halloween stitcher. Um, I don't decorate much for Halloween, but those Martini Witches, yes. Okay, this is not really a whip, but I left it in here because it's on my list. Uh, this is Merry and Bright by Ship's Manor, and it's going to be a restart when my new fabric shows up. So I after to, like when i got this out i think it maybe got rolled in arbitrary august no i think i worked on it for its birthday and it was like the third time i worked on it and i just i gave i decided i hated the linen i don't like how my stitches look on it it's hard um just it's not fun and i knew i was going to finish it but i love it and i have all the like special called for flosses from ship's manor i love this chart I love the floss. So I placed a custom order with Brandy at Be Stitch Me for some Ada that like she was going to get as close as she could to like this color because this is Mystic. This is 32 count. I think it's 32 count Mystic by Picture This Plus. <clears throat> and yeah, so this isn't really a whip, but it was in with my whips and I, I don't know. I got it out to show you. It's going to be a restart eventually. So maybe I really just have 69. I don't know. Do we count that if it's not restarted yet? I mean, maybe I really only have 69 whips. We'll see. Okay. Next up is Holly and Hearts uh, by Lizzie Kate. This was like a mystery sampler at one time. I'm doing this on all the called for because I bought it all kitted up from Stash and Load. For a steal of a deal. And this is where I am on it. On that very first section. But I'm getting close to finishing it up. Eh, there's a border down at the bottom. Maybe I lie. Uh, and there's a bunch of satin stitches that go in these little diamonds. So. There we go. I think this is maybe doubloon. I think this is pictures plus doubloon. And it's all week's dye works. Looks like all week's dye works. So that is Holly and Hearts. Next up, another biggie, another <laughs> big old project that uh, is on the WIPCO board for next year. This is Dog's Declaration by Ink Circles. Just genius, I love this chart so much. I am stitching this on a 36 count Linen in Bisque by Lakeside Linen with all of the called for about Bobby threads and this is where I am. I got this, huge, like this was a total score. Before I even knew what I was buying, I bought this huge piece of Lakeside Limit Linen off Stash and Load. Right? Uh, but that's where I am. That's where I am. And I re-jiggered this first little doggy to look like my happy boy. With one ear up and one ear down. He's black with a little patch of white. So the rest of the dogs I'll do as charted. But that first little one is happy. So this is on the WIPCO board to get 12 days of stitching next year. I love it. And it's in, I bought that chart and all the threads at a first Thursday meetup at Acorns and Threads and then I got this bag. I bought this bag from Lisa um, Kindred Stitcher so I don't know this feels like my like Acorn friends and the day that I bought this and bought all the threads Melissa my friend Melissa had come and she brought her finished. She had just finished it. It was amazing. Okay. Do, do, do. Next up is that tote's getting empty, is Emily's house. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this is also, this might be a large project, I'm not real sure. Emily's house by Lindy Stitches. Um, I am doing this on a 36 count linen in Dropper Brown by X2 Designs with called for flosses. Wow, this is a wrinkle, y'all, because I bought the whole, like, kit uh, that Lindy Stitches had with the 
Emily bag and it came with the um, fancy flosses. It came with the called for fancy flosses. And then you just had to add the DMC. It's ridiculous. Okay. Can I see where I am? This gave me fits over this past year and it took me like three or four tries, but I finally got the border all done and matched up. And I'm finally starting on the house. So I need to get all the flowers in on the border, but so that's where I am on Emily's house. I feel like that might be a large project that is on the Let's Go board. It's close. If it's not a large project, my stitch count is pretty close. Okay, this is my last 2019 whip. So this is the last one that I carried forward with me last year into this year. And that is Peace on Earth by Cottage Garden Samplings. And I am stitching this on R&R Fog Lifter, 36 count, and I'm using called for, -ish, called for floss. I think the only thing that's not is the white, or maybe it is. I think I decided to go with called for on the floss. And that's where I am. On it. That's, let's see, I don't have any other cardinal or anything. So that's where I am on Peace on Earth. And that, my friends, takes us through all my 2019 whips. I'm going to pause for a moment because I'm at the end of one tote. I'm going to pause. I'm going to shove them all back in the tote. Grab the next one. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I feel like we're flying a little bit, but yet not so we'll see i might get this done in one go all right so the beginning of 2020 no idea what was coming did we <laughs> beginning of that beginning of this year okay so my new year new start was uh farewell to anger farewell to anger charted by heaven and earth designs uh there's a whole stitch along with uh jan hicks caroline zook they kind of Came up with the idea, hosted it. Uh, we'll all finish, I don't know, sometime next decade. Once again, should have taken these big ones out, but also they're a pain to get back in. So I'm sure I have a picture when it was last out of the Q snap. I hope so. If so, I'll put it right here. Uh, but I had to move the Q snap over, so this is all you get to see. Oh, you know what? Let me pull up Pattern Keeper. Do do, because I can show you where I am on Pattern Keeper, right? Like I can like zoom out and show you how much I've done. Surely yes. Yeah. There we go. So I have 5.67% done. Boom. <laughs> Clearly something's highlighted. That's, that's how much of that I have done. I've done 14,598 stitches. I thought that I would be like to 10% by the end of this year, but this got set aside during Bellisano when I was working really hard on Harry Potter. And once again, have not touched the book coverage the past couple months. That is, of course, on the WIPCO board for four pages. Um, I only did just shy of two this year. I didn't even do two full pages this year. Next year, four pages is the goal. Sounds like a lot. Uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, which end am I coming out of? This tote. So that was new year, new start. Next up is Crosses of the Kingdom by Rosewood Manor. This is a gift for my parents for their 50th wedding anniversary. Um, so, you know, it's not crunch time yet, but I should probably get more work on it than I did this year. I try to work on this on the 12th of every month. Um, I didn't every month last year after I started it, but pretty close. This is where I am, which doesn't seem like a lot, but man, like seriously, this one, this one was a beast. I mean, it took me forever and it's a big, I mean, well, let's not talk about this one. Although that's a lot of full cross stitches in black. So I think it's going to be okay. So I'm doing this on white on 32 count, 36 count. 
32. 32 white with anchor black and I think it calls for like a light effects. Eh, eh, eh. I'm using Petite Treasure Braid in PB40 for the gold. So that is Crosses of the Kingdom. Beautiful. There's a Keys of the Kingdom that oh, I would love to stitch someday. Hmm. Okay. Next up is my Long Dog Leap Day Sal. So you can see I didn't start that much stuff at the beginning of the year or I finished it. It was on finishing kick. Um, so Long Dog Leap Day Sal, a lot of you are in on this with me. A lot of you started a long dog on leap day. I started Cardinal Points. Um, I work it on, on the 29th of every month. And we're going to finish it by the next leap day. So we got time. We're good. We're good, good, good. I almost have one page finished. And that's where I am. I didn't work on it this month. Oh, tomorrow's the 29th. Hmm. I'm trying to finish up Whip Wrangler, so we'll see. So that's that's cardinal points is and i'm stitching this in all the called for gentle arts i did sub out sunflower for classic color works autumn gourd because my sunflower and gold leaf were the exact same color so i did sub out the one color but otherwise it is as called for okay next up was my birthday start uh Lucky Bee Day Sal, and that is Al Forest Stoop Clover. In my head, I thought I would have this done by this coming birthday in March. Nope. So I think I'm gonna I am gonna have a birthday start, but it's gonna be just be a smaller. It'll be a smaller project. I bought this as a full kit. I switched out the linen uh, just because I wanted a little bit more margin, and so it's on a Platinum, either platinum or flax, but I am using all the Owl Forest kit flosses. And that's where I am. So I have good progress on it. Um, you can see I have good progress. This big motif took me a long time, but it won't be done for this, this birthday. So I try to work on this on the 24th of every month. Uh, and We'll see, there's all the pretty flosses from Al Forest. They come on these little bobbins. You can buy their kits directly from them in Russia. They also have PDFs on their website, but you can buy the kits from Russia. They take a little while to come, but that's okay. Easy peasy, I've gotten quite a few things from Russia. Okay. Ooh, next up is um, this that I started because Carla Rolodex just told me to. Book house, she's finished hers. I have not, I'm easy. Like, if you say, I'm starting something, I'm like, oh, I like that. And you say, let's sell it. I'll say, okay. And I'll start it and not finish it. <laughs> but that's a uh, book house. I'm doing this on 18 count Ada in Vintage Country Mocha. Not called for colors. Called for ish. Called for ish, I think. I don't know. There's some DMC in here. There's also a Hickory Sticks. I don't know. I think it's close. I think it's close. This is where I am. Oof, I thought I had more of this done. <laughs> I lived in books more than I've lived anywhere else. I mean, I started in the house. Um, but I cross stitch so I don't kill people. Like that just seemed like the right needle minder, right? I, that came from Space Cat Crafting. But you know, it, it felt Carla. It screamed Carla to me, so. I love I love this pattern. I have several more of um, Stone Street Stitchworks patterns. Did I say Summer House Stitchworks? It's Stone Street Stitchworks. I have several more of their patterns that I would like to stitch someday. Okay. Next up, I think this is my high tea start in April, at the beginning of April, and that is Seeking Refuge. Love this. This is a market release. Felt very appropriate for the year. So I started it high tea in April. And I am stitching this on 36 count stars hollow blend by R and R with all the called four colors. And this is where I am. 
So I'm almost like a third of the way done. I need to just work on this border, this bottom border, and then it'll be a third of the way done. So that's good. This is a big project. Pretty sure this is a large one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 249 by 183. So this is gonna get 12. This is on the Withgo board next year. Love it though. Love it. What's up next? Let's see, where am I? Oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this is another one that like a whole bunch of people started it. It was one of Barbara Anna's freebies for Be Well and Stitch. And a bunch of people were starting it and I loved it. So I started it too. A bunch of people finished it. I have not. Uh, Light by Barbara Anna. And I am stitching this on a mystery 36 count linen. I think this might be a Victorian motto. I, I feel like this is maybe a Victorian motto that I bought off of Annie's stash unload and that's where I am. And I'm doing this in the call for DMC. I mean, but look at her face. She's just regal, regal looking. Love that. So yeah, go get done someday. Love her though. Love her. I also have another Barbara Anna. I'll kit it up in here. <laughs> that I haven't even started yet. Uh, from Punch Needle and Primitives Stitcher Magazine. It was like the spring. I don't think I have a, I don't have a cover sheet, but I've got all the flosses and everything. <laughs> Maybe I'll start that this spring. Maybe on like the first day of spring. That'd be fun. Okay. What's up next? Okay. I'm gonna do a little shifty shift. Hold on. Okay, next up is Stars Bright. I started this on my anniversary on April 18th, because I love it. And it's my husband and I, and also Stephanie is a genius. I love her stuff. Okay, I am stitching this on a 36 count linen in Frozen Fractals by Hand Dyed by Stephanie with all the call for colors. And this is where I am. I try to work on this on the 18th of every month. I don't think that this is a big one though. Let's look at the stitch count. 181 by 161. It's, I mean, it's close, but it's it's a medium. So this will probably, I'll just try to continue to work on this on the 18th of every month. It'll get done when it gets done. Maybe for our like 25th anniversary. That'd be nice. By our 25th, we've been married 22 years this year. So if it's like done in frame by our 25th, I'm cool with that. Okay. Next up is I started this on Arbor Day with a whole bunch of people. And of course, grew. Hashtag all the freaking trees. Um, God, I love this piece. I had said at one point that this was on my, my like two stitch before I die list. And um, Daylene of So Grateful was like, start it. What are you waiting for? Just start it. Cause she has finished it and framed it and it is absolutely stunning. Uh, she's like, you should just start it. Just stitch a tree every once in a while and eventually it'll be done. So a bunch of friends and I started it on Arbor Day. Uh, I'm stitching it on 36 count soft ivory linen with all the called for DMC. And this is where I am. I don't even have a page finish. This for sure is getting 12 days of work. It is big. It's big. But it'll be amazing. I will, I when I get there eventually at some point, um, I will be recharting the saying in the middle, but I don't know with what yet. Something. But I love it. I'll get done before I die. Maybe. Okay. Oh, that brings us to, that's what I thought. That brings us to Mania. That brings us to May 1st. I did Mania this year for the very first time. I started 21 projects. I did one on each weekday. So not the weekends, but if it was a weekday, I did a brand new start, which ended up being 21. Uh, 
I don't know. I think I'm going to do them not necessarily on their birthday this year, but do the first 21 days for 2021. So everything might just shift up forward a little bit. That's fine. Uh, I'm also going to do the blind cat method. So if something's not finished, it gets stitched again this year. If it was finished, then I will have an open spot to start something new. As of right now, there's not going to be very many spots, but I have till May. It's fine. Okay, so first up was Without a Mouse by Blackbird Designs. I'm stitching this on a 32 count Belfast linen in Cauldron by Picture This Plus with Gentle Arts Witching Hour. And that is where I am. I mean, so this could potentially get done. I'm planning maybe like finish it February to really just focus on finishes. I do have some starts planned for January, but then I think February, March, April, I'm going to really focus on finishing stuff up. Um, I'm particularly making a piece of so I feel like this could be one of them. There's a lot of stitching in that pumpkin, but it's easy stitching. So that is, that was the very first, very first of mania. Um, okay, next up is Metamorphous by Ink Circles. This had a herky jerky start. In mania but I finally found the perfect linen and thread combo I'm doing this on a 32 count no name linen by be stitch me it is so gorgeous and I am doing it in this beautiful palette of silks that were gifted to me so each motif is going to be a different color but not the colors that are here so and it's kind of a fade you can see from pink to purple to gray Dark red. And I'm almost done with the second motif. So, whew, this is so pretty. So pretty. I just love that. All right. Next is Your Okay by Bendy Stitchy. And uh, I am stitching this on 42 count, no, 42 count, 18 count Ada in Vintage Country Mocha with called Four Colors. And this is where I am. So I have some branch. I have the start of a heart. There's still a lot of stitching in this. It's not a huge design. No, it's a small. It's 91 by 90, but for some reason, this it feels like there's still a lot of stitching done. Uh, to go in this. I am not going to put the I guess. I love this. Like, especially as a Valentine. Like, you're okay, I guess. But I'm just going to have it as a reminder to myself that you're okay. And then I'll just put my, like, maybe initials in here down here. But I love that design. I love the fractor. This is genius. Genius. Do, do, do. Wait, that's, like, small. You would think I'd be able to finish that, but... Oh, oh, okay. Next up is I make sure I do have these in the right order. Yes, Primitive Tarot Notions and Needle Book by Wild Violet Cross Stitch. And this I am stitching on an 18 count Ada that was white that I like tea coffee dyed and baked to all heck, and I love it. And I'm stitching it in Blackbird by Classic Color Works. This is where I am. So I have one of the three done, but then there's a little bit of like stuff on the inside to stitch, not a lot, but this is really fun. This is a really fun stitch. It feels like it goes pretty fast, but it's actually more stitching than it looks like. But how good did this like grungy Ada come out? I can't wait to have this all finished up. Let's see, I might have to send it to someone for finishing. Maybe I'll get my daughter to do it. She sews pretty good. Okay. Next up is Blackbird by Blackbird Designs. I'm stitching this on 36 count beach brew linen with Classic Color Works Blackbird because it's Blackbird. So it seems right. This is where I am. This is another one that I feel like I could finish up during like finishing up February or something. There's still quite a bit to do, but 
I don't know. It's close. Feels close. Uh, if you all have been around here long enough, you know me. I always think, it'll stitch up really quick. <laughs> if I focused on anything, it probably would. My attention span, not so long. Okay. Next up is yep, Star Spangled Spectacular. Mm, by With My Needle and Thre Thread. It's a souvenir of the heart. And I am stitching this on 28 count Lugana. It was a bone color that I tea coffee dyed. That's the extra piece for another one. Um, and I am stitching it as called for one over one with called for flosses. Uh, it's cute. I don't mind the one over one stitching. It seems unnecessary because this is a small chart to begin with. I have the other souvenirs of the heart and then I probably won't do the one over one. But this is where I am. So actually, I don't know. The one over one feels like it takes me a long time uh, because I'm slower. I find I can't do the sewing method. I typically stitch in hand using the sewing method, but one over one, I get some slippage and my stitches aren't as neat, so I kind of have to poke and pull and jab, and which is fine. But that's where I am. On Souvenirs of the Heart, Star Spangled Spectacular. So the other ones, I have fall, there's fall, and there's a Christmas one. Is there a spring one? I don't think there is. I have well actually probably do those on like a 36 count over two. Just because they're so cute, I actually kind of want them a little bit bigger. All right. Next up is Whip It Good by Heartstring Samplery. I am stitching this on a 16 count. 18 count, let's see, 18 count. An 18 count Ada in maroon by Be Stitch Me, and I'm using one strand of sulky white, and that's where I am. So I think, like, that's the middle, and that's the middle. So I'm like a quarter of the way done, almost. Like, this little bit, and I'll be a quarter of the way done, like this. I did purchase, this was a charity chart, December 2019. And Beth put out a kind of follow-up called Hoop There It Is um, this December. And I also bought that one. I may just do um, I may just do it if there's room. If I have enough space, I might do it uh, on this or I'll just get a complimentary Ada and do it in white as well, eventually. I'll start that one when I finish this one. How about that? <laughs> Pretty sure you'll be seeing that on uh, it back in the video. Okay. Next up is mm -mm. My Stitcher's Heart by Hands On Design. This was a Nashville release this year. I started the pin cushion. I'm definitely doing this. I bought the box. I also love, um, I also like, the little fawn they're cute but I for sure will be doing these two I've started I started the pincushion I am doing this on 32 count platinum I think that's what's called for whatever's called for with the called for floss and this is where I am so I'm a little over a quarter of the way done this is such nice like easy stitching I love this and I think the little finished object is so cute so that's where I am I feel like that could potentially get finished up before this year's mania. And if I do, then I think I will see I even bought the witchy pom pom. If it if I do finish it up, then I think I'll start the box top on the like slide that into the same day on mania if I get the pin cushion done. If not, then it's mania. It's not going anywhere. As one of my very, very, very start smart friends said to me today, this doesn't expire, it's not food. It's not food, there's no expiration dates on this. Okay, so next up is Summer at Cherry Hill. I am selling this with Deborah from Stitch the Stash. And I am stitching this on a 36 count Cherry Pit Brown. And so I did switch out the red for a more like whiny purpley color. 
and this is where I am on it. Not very far, but I love it. Love this. We have a cherry tree in our yard and the birds come and eat the cherries off it every year before we get to them. Pretty much, that's how it goes. Okay, up next is Needles Dance. This is a collab by Summer House Stitch Works, Ink Circles, and Hands On Design. I am stitching this on a 32 count Summer Breeze. I believe Summer Breeze by Hand Dyed by Stephanie with the called for glosses and that's where I am. So I am using the called for glosses but I subbed the color that was called for here for this lighter pink just because I liked it better. And it reminds me of like the sun going down when it gets all pink in the summer. So that's where I am on that. Probably won't be finished by mania. Okay. All right. Up next is we're still in mania. Still in mania. Uh, Heartstring Samplery Cross Stitch Nation. I'm doing this on a 32 count mystery even weave. No idea. I bought this off a of stash unload. It could have been like hand dyed by the person because it doesn't. It doesn't look familiar to me, the color, uh, but it's a great color. And uh, I'm stitching this with called four flosses. And that's how far I am. I belong to Cross Stitch Nation. So pretty. So fun. And I am going to be changing out some of the skin colors on that one. And a little bit diver more diversity to my Cross Stitch Nation. Okay, mm -mm. next up is Letters from Mom by Jeanette Douglas. This is a whole series. So like this is kind of the cover that you make this envelope out of. And then there were 12 like smaller ones that you could, that you would put into that. I'm just doing, yeah, I'm just doing this. I'm going to do it three times for all three girls eventually. And this is on flax, a 36 count flax, and I am doing it with one strand um, of called for. And this is where I am so far. All right, that border is so pretty. I mean, it is not, um, it is not, not time consuming. But that lacy border is so pretty. That's where I am. I try to work on that on the 23rd of every month. Because my oldest was born on the 23rd. So, all right, next up is uh, Welcome Foolish Mortals by the Witchy Stitcher. <laughs> Welcome Foolish Mortals. And I am stitching this on 16 count Ada by Picture This Plus in the colorway Phantom. I'm using a 12. DMC Black at 12, and I'm going to fill in the eyes with Glow in the Dark. And that's where I am. Ooh, the 12 is actually showing up. Look at that sparkly. So that's where I am on Welcome Foolish Mortals. Love this piece. And the Needle Minder Glows in the Dark, too. <laughs> Favorite ride. Favorite ride at Disneyland. Okay. And up next is Olga by Plum Street Samplers. Can you tell I have a slight obsession with Paula Stewart? Uh, so Olga, I am stitching this on 36 count linen in sea salt by Color and Cotton. Sea salt with all the called for flosses. And this is where I am. I did move, I'm moving the E and the M, you can see that was supposed to be an M, E's over here. I'm switching their positions and I did them in a different color for my initials. So from left to right it'll be E and M. That's where I am on Olga, just love, love this, love that little cat face. 
little grumpy cat. We have a black grumpy cat. So I'm always drawn to the black grumpy cat thing, things. A grumpy cat Leo. Okay. Moving right along to Fragments in Time, the 2018 Fragments in Time by Summer House Stitch Works. I am doing this as one piece. I'm doing all eight of them together. And so there's a free border in Summer House Stitch Works so that you can put them all together on one piece, which I am doing. And I'm pretty sure it's all called Four Colors. I feel like I subbed out one of the yellows. We're doing this on a 32 count stars hollow. I feel like the queen bee. I think, I think I'm using queen bee instead of toffee, but otherwise it's all called for. And where's the stitching? There it is. There we go. I'm working on the first one. First one. So I have a lot of border done and actually I'm getting closest to having that first one done. This is a long-term project, but this is also on WIPCO. So the goal is 12 days. 12 days, which I think like, I feel like that should get me maybe halfway done. Maybe, we'll see. Cause I think that's just two days of work. Although the day I started that mania, I kind of went ham on it. So, you know, for the day. All right, next up is Long and Winding Road by Blackbird Designs. And this is, I, this is on my WIPCO board. Ooh, maybe this is what I'll work on for Becca's birthday. That sounds good. I'm doing this on a 36 count linen in Weathered Shingle by r and which man, if I could find like a bolt of this, I would buy it. I love this color so much. And this is where I am. I am doing a bunch of color substituting because I wanted the house to look like my house. I don't know why it has these like columns on it. I didn't love those. Uh, and the road's gonna be black instead of brown just to go. Cause I have the shaker box that this goes on and it's gray. But that is where I am on Long and Winding Road. It's not a super big piece, but it feels like there's quite a bit of stitching. It's a hundred by hundred. So, on the edge between small and medium. Okay. Next up, more Blackbird. I had a like Blackbird Mania. I started four Blackbirds in Mania. This is um, the Garden Club series. I picked my four favorites. I have a finishing piece. It's like a window frame type dealio. So I picked my four favorites. I started with um, Apple Orchard. And um, I'm going to be doing Apple Orchard, Basket of Cherries, Climbing the Trellis, and Fairy Garden. So those are the four I'm going to be doing. I'm doing them on a 28 count platinum linen because I needed it on 28 to kind of be the right size for the finishing piece. And this is where I am on Apple Orchard. So I actually have a really good start on Apple Orchard, but this is going to stay in that mania spot. I consider this one whip, even though it's four charts, I consider it one whip. So uh, it'll stay in that spot until all four of those charts are done. No, someday. Of those. Okay, let me see. Let me check where I am on the list. Oh, look at that. I'm onto the second page. Oof, we're doing so good. Okay. Next up is Weatherwise by Prairie Schooler. I'm doing this one up here. You all have seen this recently if you've been watching Flossmas because I've worked on it for Whip Wranglers. I am doing Helen D's conversion. She's Helen D on YouTube, East Coast Crafter on Instagram. She has her conversion posted on her Instagram feed. So you can find it there. I am stitching this on vintage stormy night yes 
32 count vintage stormy night Lugana. And this is where I am. Decent progress on this. Um, you know, but a lot of this is kind of foolish coverage. So, but I love that. This was one of my unicorn charts before it was reprinted. And um, there was some group that someone just had asked, like, hey, what's everybody's unicorn chart? And one, I was able to send someone their unicorn chart because it was something I had stitched. And someone sent this to me before it was reprinted. So this is the original cardstock. Love it. This community is fantastic. So, because when I saw Helen D do her finish of that, oh, well, I knew I had to have it. Okay, and that's the end of Mania. That was my last Mania piece. Yes. Um, so, we're out of Mania, back into just regular old starts. And the next one is A Stitch for Sweet Freedom by Lindy Stitches. I started this for diversity and inclusion, Sal. Hashtag representation matters. And I started it on Juneteenth. I am stitching this on mm, something. I am stitching it on Vintage Gray, 32 count Vintage Gray by R&R. &R. I did do a little converting, um, I think just to do it from stash, but it's, I mean, it's the same-ish colors. Just, you know, it's close. And this is where I am. And this is for Sweet Freedom. I have a pretty face done, but I've not started her beautiful dress. And that's where I am on that. <laughs> and it is in this fantastic, so much to love bag that was from Bag of the Month Club. Perfect. Could not be more perfect. Okay. Next up is Sing a Sampler. My Silver Creek Samplers. This was my July high tea start uh, for kind of Jolly July. I am doing the Jan Hicks color conversion esque. I used it as my jumping off point and I pulled from stash, but I'm going with the brighter, more rainbow Jan Hicks conversion. And her conversion is on her blog, Mad for Yarn. So you go to her website, she has a conversion page, it's on there. I'm stitching this on 32 count vintage smoky white linen. And this is where I am. So I have dough done, starting our ray. And I'm doing it four and four. Um, these are kind of charted to do it in one long piece or as ornaments, but I'm doing four and four. So there we go. I love this. Here's, here's like the main colors and then I just, so these are kind of like the border and this is what I'm using for the words. It's a silk from Color and Cotton, no name silk that came in there at one of their harvest boxes. Um, and then I just have a whole bunch of other colors that I'm using. I'm kind of just picking stuff that looks good for the inside bits. So, but that's all. Everything I've used so far is up on the spreadsheet if you want to go take a look. Okay, so let's sing a sampler. Next up is um, Let's Talk Autumn. This is the new Hands On Design series, Chalk Talk. The winter is out. I will be starting the winter version. There is a Facebook group that's hashtag Chalk talk style, maybe I can't remember exactly, but there is a Facebook group for everybody stitching these, and they're starting winter on January 15th, I think. And I'll start with them on the 15th. Um, I'm doing these on a piece of 18 count, 18 count, 16 count. Oh, I put the tags on here. What do you want to bet? Uh, it is, yep, yeah, 16 count Ada from Brandy and Dirty Chalkboard. And I got a big whack. I'm hoping all four are gonna fit on here. I think they will. So actually, I need to before, because this is where I am. This is where I am on fall. <laughs> but I want to get all the way over here 
before the next one starts in January and do this following so that I can measure out, but I think I can put them side by side. I'm pretty sure. It might be tightish, but it'll be fine. So big piece of dirty chalkboard because I want to do all of them and I'm stitching it in the call for DMC. I love a seasonal series. I'm a sucker for a seasonal series. I like stitching words. Um, Kathy Haberman's lettering is so good and so fun to stitch. I knew I wanted to do that whole series. Um, I'm just, I'm in. I'm in for seasonal. Right. Okay, next up is Tempting Tangles, Enjoy the Sunshine, Stitch Along, which I am like way far behind on. I was like staying caught up through like the first three parts. It's still going on. I think it finishes in like March or April. I don't know. I'm doing this on a 28 count linen from Be Stitch Me in Lemon that she, the, she dyed this colorway specifically for this Stitch Along. Uh, it is called for Dinky Dyes, but I did my own Mrs. Seda Silk conversion. So there's the Mrs. Seda Silks, and here's where I am. So, like, I'm not keeping up with the sow, but, you know, it's fine. I'm downloading the parts as they come out. And that's where I am. It's a fun Quakery, and the wording is like talks about enjoy the sunshine um uh, sit outside or something and stitch 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 it's about stitching in the sunshine and i just feel like i don't have that many summary i love fall fall is by far my favorite season so i feel like i don't have a lot of summary stuff so i really like that okay next start was tree of magic by barbara anna i love this so much uh, we have a stitch line going this is an exclusive kit from Nitka Moscow. It's the only way to get this design is to order the kit from Nitka Moscow. Um, you can just message her on Instagram and she will send you an invoice and ship it to you. It takes a little while to come from Russia, but that's okay. Uh, I'm using Kit Fabric, Kit Floss, and this is where I am on it so far. Brian is a genius. Genius. And, you know, if you're going to have a tree of magic, you have to have a fancy panda in a suit smoking a pipe. Yep, yep, you do. So that is tree of magic. All right, I'm to the end of that tote. I'm just going to keep going. Are you guys okay to keep going? I need to put all this stuff back in the tote, grab the next tote. So I'm going to pause. This would be a good place for you to pause, get a potty break, refill your drink, and we're just going to, we're going to push through. Okay. I'll be right back. All right. I'm back. Do y'all, do y'all get a little refresh? I had a little refresh, got everything reset. Haven't finished my Energize yet, so we're good to go. Last tote, and this one is smaller. So let's jump right back in. All right. Next start, this was my big sampler start for Sampler September. And it's Like a Cherry Blossom by um, Stitches Through the Years. And I am doing this on a 36 count seashell by X2 Designs with um, Call Four Colors. And that is my start. <laughs> I think I've worked on this like one other time since I started it. Uh, this is really pale. It shows up better in real life than it's showing up on camera, but the whole piece is like really pale and pretty. So I'm, I'm fine with how that's showing up. So pretty, so pretty. So that was the sampler September start. And then for the rest of September, sampler September, I just worked on the pieces I had that I thought were sampler like. Okay, next up, I love this piece. Uh, it's another Ink Circles. Yes, I'm obsessed with Tracy Horner as well. This is Quaker Genetics 
and um, I am selling this uh, with my friend Megan. It's hashtag 16 peas in a pod sell uh, because this is a pun and square. Uh, my major in college was cell and molecular biology with a concentration in genetics. The nerdy science stuff gets me every time and Tracy does it so well. Okay. I am stitching this on a 36 count linen in coffee club by the stitch me. Oh God, this is a great fabric too. Hello. And this is where I am. Nerds. Yes, yes we are. And I am stitching this in sort of called four colors. I'm using the cherry bark and espresso bean. I think that's what it was called for. Cherry bark and espresso bean. Otter Creek I didn't have and I decided since we were going with the um, P, the P analogy, I would use this green Spanish moss by Color and Cotton. And instead of buttermilk, I'm using Color and Cotton cardamom. So that is Quaker Genetics. I love it. I haven't gotten back to it since I started it, I don't think. I need to though. It's a great piece. Great piece. All right, that's not a let go though. I don't, or is it? Is this big enough? No, it's medium. It's a 153 by 153. Uh, so that's not on the let go board. I didn't think it was. All right, next up. This is on WIPCO for um, my large pieces. So this will get 12 days of work. This is Touching the Autumn Sky. This is another unicorn chart that someone very, very kindly sent to me. Unbelievable. We'll be paying that forward. Um, I am stitching this on a 32 count linen in autumn by Be Stitch Me with all the called four colors because it's a mirabilia. Don't mess with it. And this is where I am so far. Um, just up in the leaves. I'm a top left starter, so it's not that exciting um, to not start with the girl, but look how beautiful this fabric is. I won't, it won't take all the way over to here, but um, that's a beautiful piece of fabric. Okay, so that's Touching the Autumn Sky by Mirabilia. And that was my first Mira. So that was a stitch along. We started that the first day of autumn. Um, it was hashtag my first Mira style with um, Alicia of Resist Stitch and I, and then a bunch of other people jumped on as well. And if it wasn't your first Mira, I think it was start a Mira September. The hashtag's in the spreadsheet. So I can't remember what the other hashtag was if it wasn't your first Mira, but it was something about start a Mira September. I love it when lots of people jump in. It's always more fun, always more fun to stitch together. Okay, this next one is, I really should have a printout, Hello Dear by Caterpillar Cross Stitch. Uh, this chart was sent, or this kit, the whole kit was sent to me by Sally to stitch along and so I chose 16 count white Ada and I'm stitching it with all the called for DMC. Sally's kits are amazing. They're fantastic. Uh, my code might still work on this if you wanted to get the PDF charts or even the full kit of Hello Dear. It's Martini 10. There is a new stitch along from Sally coming out in January starting the 25th called Made to Create. It's the most fun color palette on a really beautiful neutral fabric and it is all craft themed. So it's called Made to Create. If you want to jump in on that, uh, I'll put the link below and I also have a code for that as well, which is still Martini 10. So join us in the next one. I'm hoping to have this one finished by the time we start Made to Create. And I should, I'm close. I'm close, I'm close. So here I am on Hello Dear. I have like just a couple leaves left, the tree, deer, grass, and instead of the pile of presents, I'm going to do a pine cone because I want it to be more wintry and not Christmassy. We have a big backyard with lots of trees and lots of pine cones. So 
That's Hello Dear. And I got the needle minder to go with it. Her needle minders are awesome. You can add them onto any kit. Hello Dear. So that should be, I was kind of maybe hoping to have that be a December finish, but December has just been, it's been fun and busy. <laughs> it's been fun and busy with stitching. So that will be a finish soon. Soon, soon. All right, next up was my high tea start at the beginning of October. And I started the blue flower, the color of winter. I love this piece. Love this. I mean, Janine McGowan, genius. Okay, I am stitching this on a 36 count Lakeside Linen in Chantilly Cream with called Four Colors. And that's my start. Wait, there we go. When it's so tiny, you have to make sure it's going the right way. Top left, I'm a top left starter. So there is my start. A border and a bird. Border and a bird. This, I think, is a biggie. Yeah. Uh, 228 by 163. This may be on the with go. It may not. That's close. That's close to being a large. I feel like I feel like it is, but I could be wrong. <laughs> Either way, it'll get some stitches this year. Won't be finished, I'm sure. All right. Next up is. I want to make sure I'm in the right. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Mm, next up was my start for Annie Joyfield Stitcher's birthday and doing Heartstring Samplery, What a Time to Be Alive. This is an Acorns and Thread exclusive, so you can call them and get that. What a Time to Be Alive. I am stitching this. Do, do, do. Gotta find. It's in my friend's So Much to Love bag that, uh, or sleeve that Annie sent me. And it's her birthday sal see how perfect is that what a time to be alive i am doing this on a 32 count uh be stitch me linen in boot camp and i am using be stitch me silk in autumn for all the motifs and then i'm going to use this mrs sadis for the words i don't know if you can tell it goes beautifully it matches it matches the like it matches beautifully trust me Okay, and this is where I am so far. Tiny little start. I started this for her birthday. I don't think I've been back to it, but you know, look, and friends need a minder. How perfect! So the nice thing about starting a stitch along with Annie is there's no pressure to finish. And me too. If I ever start a stitch along, I like to think of them as start alongs. Let's start something together. And then you will never feel bad about taking forever to finish because I take forever to finish. Speaking of stitch alongs, that's what this next one is too. Hashtag Zimmerman coverlet sal. This is just stunning. Uh, this is by Modern Folk Embroidery. It uh, was inspired by one of uh, Ellen Reed's family heirloom uh, coverlets. She has like a family heirloom woven coverlet and the design is inspired by that. I am not, so it's charted, you get the chart for like one section and then it repeats, the, the mock-up shows it repeated three times. Beautiful. I'm gonna do this as a big old drum. So I'm stitching this motif for the top and then the long border will be around the edge. It's gonna be a drum the size of your head and I'm here for it. Um, I'm stitching this on Color and Cotton, 36 count linen. It was the August fabric um, of the month color and it doesn't have a name. So it was the August Fabric Club Special Edition. It's beautiful neutral. And I'm stitching it in Gloriana Rosewood. Because, you know, if you're going to do a fancy sal with someone as fancy and classy as Ellen, you go with Gloriana. 
and that's where I am so far. I'm starting with the top. Beautiful. Beautiful. Is that the right way? Yes, it is. And this is a little needle minder from Tracy Warner that she sent out to her Patreons of one of her mandalas. Fantastic. This is a large piece. So this is going to be, this is on the whip go to get 12 days. All right. Love that. All right, what's up next? Let's see. Oh, yes. This is a good one. This is a good one. Um, another Home Street sampler. This is, oh, wait. I have a better picture. This is the Gather In. Uh, it was, came in, it was a retreat exclusive. We got this for the Pacific Northwest Stitch Summit retreat. Uh, and Paulette Stewart was one of the designers. I mean, come on, how gorgeous is that? So I'm stitching this on all, like with all the kit stuff. So it's on a 36 count, I believe. 36 count graham cracker fabrics and graham cracker with all the called for called for colors that came in the kit. And that's how far I am on the gathering. Is this a large piece? Oh, <laughs> sure seems like it. That's a big old barn. <laughs> I think I'm going to do the grass in um, 10 stitch, two over one tent. Everything else is one over two. But this is 196 by 149. This isn't even a large piece. <laughs> but it's amazing. I love it so much. Okay. So that is the gather in. Trying to put that back in there. Okay. Got it. Got it. It's happening. It's all happening. All right. Up next is. French Kitchen Collection. This was a club kit from Inspired Needle. Um, so it came quarterly. It's four charts. The French Kitchen Collection has four charts. It's a collab between Hands On Design and Summer House Stitch Works. So of course I had to get it. And they came quarterly. Uh, I have two of them stitched. It hangs in my kitchen and I Switch them out. Apples and sages up now. I'm working on pear and rosemary. So you could get, with the kit, you could get the horn book. And then with each, if you did, then with each club uh, shipment, you got a mat board to finish them the same. So I have two done. I have, um, I'll show you which ones I have done and which ones I still have to do. Well, there's one. Where's the other one? Maybe I will. Oh yeah, here we go. So I have apples and sage done. That was the first one I did. That one's up now. I did strawberries and mint. That was hanging up in the summer. Now I'm working on pear and rosemary, which is really like the winter one. That's the one I'm working on. I'll show you where I am. And then the last one is, pull it out. The last one is, blueberries and thyme. So I don't know if you can get this kit anymore from like if they're all out. I don't know if you can get the kit from Inspired Needle and I don't know when these will all be released. Um, because all four have not, it hasn't been a year since all four have been released. So, but right now I'm working on Pear and Rosemary. So it's all called for because it came in the kit and this is how far I am. I have rosemary. <laughs> I think this is on my whip go board to finish one more in the series. But I love it. Love it. Love it. Um, they're both some of my favorite designers. So fun stitches. Okay. Next up is yep. this Impossible Odds by Whistle Stop Stitcher. This is a freebie from her. Um, I don't know where she's keeping her patterns right now. 
I feel like she has an Etsy shop. That I know. I don't know if this is on there because it's a freebie, but she has fantastic patterns, so you should go check her out anyway. Whistle Stop Stitcher, Impossible Odds. I started this uh, the Saturday, the day that the election was called for Biden. And I am stitching it on a 32 count Belfast linen in Stormy Cloud. And I am using Turkish Red. Uh, the Smith's Sadis 58 and Chimney Sweep by Color and Cotton. My goal is to have this done before Inauguration Day. So this is going to be a push for a finish. And then on Inauguration Day, I am starting a joyous day. So and this is where I am. This is such a fun stitch, y'all. Such a fun stitch. Perfect needle minder. Love is greater than hate. Love this. Love, love, love this. So that'll be a finish in January too. I'm, I'm claiming it. I'm saying that that is so. It'll be a finish in January. And um, yeah, I'll be done by inauguration day. I can do it, no problem. It's really fun to stitch. It's easy fun stitching. Okay. Next up, is this right? Make sure I'm in the right. Yep. This was my Thanksgiving Day start this year. And it is Autumn Royalty by Lindy Stitches. What else that I'm obsessed with? Love all of her things. All the things. I'm doing this on a 32 count vintage tarnish silver by Lakeside with all the called for flosses. Because she had a kit in her shop. So when I ordered it, I ordered the kit. Um, it is in my amazing Diana bag from Innis Kismet because, I mean, they look like royalty too, right? I do. Okay, I started Prince of Pies. And this is how far I am on Prince of Pies. I think all three will fit on here. It might be squishy, but I think all three are going to fit. Because I will be stitching all three. Prince of Pies. See, we're getting close, all. Thanksgiving. That was my Thanksgiving day start. I might have had a few December starts during 12 days of stitching. Okay, up next is Rack Stack by Plum Street Samplers. I am stitching this on 32 count French Country Rain. Country French Rain. And this is, see, this is so neat. Like, look at this huge piece of fabric for rack stack. Here's where I am. <laughs> that's a pretty good start. Actually, that's two days of stitching. That's a pretty good start. And I'm using called for colors. Pretty sure. Pretty sure this is all called for. There's some DMC that's called for. But I'm pretty sure that's all called for. Or close. Really close. Okay. So that's rack stack. I know it drives some of y'all nuts that I, that I stitch these tiny things on a huge whack of fabric. I cut them out when I'm done. But I like having enough fabric that I can like kind of roll it up and hold it in my hand since I'm an in-hand stitcher. All right, next start for Mary for hashtag 12 days of Christmas stitching is Barbara Anna Designs Christmas is Coming. Oh, Barbara Anna. I am stitching this on 32 count sea glass. I clearly bought it from Shakespeare's Peddler because that's, that's a Teresa tag. I don't know who the dyer is. Could be extra designs, could be r, &R. I'm doing this with called for DMC and there's my start. A little snail with his hat. There we go. So it's kind of a different fabric choice, but I think it's working. I think it's working. It's working for me. And I love that it's like non-traditional Christmas colors anyway, so it's just go non-traditional. I'd had that kitted up for forever. Not forever, but at least a year. Okay. Next up is, oh, next up, my next start was Stitching Book Club, A Christmas Carol. This is where you can tell that Christmas got busy, like right before Christmas, because this should be a finish. So many people have finished it. 
here is my start on stitching book on Christmas Carol Sal. This is 32 count opalescent white. I don't know if you can see this shimmer. And I'm doing this with called for DMC, but I am using some green for the border instead of all the yellow, just because green's my favorite color. And I wanted it more green heavy than yellow heavy. So that is Stitching Book Club, a Christmas Carol Sal. And then on Christmas Day, oh, I missed one, please. Pomegranate Santa. I started Pomegranate Santa before A Christmas Carol. Not that it really matters. Okay, Pomegranate Santa. And this is on 36 count Driftwood by Color and Cotton with called for flosses. And this is my start. I have a branch in the beginning of one pomegranate. And I'm not going to be doing the reindeer at the bottom. I just, I just love the Santa and his pomegranates and I don't need to stitch all those little reindeer. So I'm not going <laughs> to. Sorry, reindeer. <clears throat> okay. That brings me to Christmas Day start. And... I started Barbara Anna's Christmas Tree from Nick Moscow. Um, started this with Annie, Joyfield Stitcher, and a couple other people. So it's hashtag Christmas Tree of Magic Sal. If you also have the kit and want to stitch along, this is in my beautiful Garon Toten bag. bag. This was gift 25 in the nice list. I only did 24 days of Flossmas. This was gift 25. I love it so much. I'm so excited for the subscription boxes to start in January. Um, if you have not gotten a Black Needle Society box yet, you want to get in on the subscriptions, you can use Martini 5. I'll put a link below. Uh, on your first month of boxes, they ship every other month. So... I love, I love Gary and Ronnie's bags. Um, and look, I think these are newish tags for them. These, this, um, so good. So good. I love a project bag. Love a project bag. Okay. So I am stitching this on all the kit, kit fabric and floss. And this is my start. This is 25 count. Two over two. So... That's kind of fun, big stitching. <laughs> nice, fun, easy stitching. And there's my start. Not much of a start. That needs a needle minder, doesn't it? That needs a needle minder. So not much of a start, but a start. And that was Christmas Day, which was my last planned start <laughs> for the year. But I snuck one last start in yesterday uh, because when your friend says, hey, Let's have hashtag pimento loaf sal. You do it. So this is Alicia's Olives. It's by Ink Circles. It's a Patreon exclusive. Uh, but we're both Patreon members. If you're a Patreon member, join. Join the sal. I am not doing it in this colorway. I'm gonna I picked my own colors to do a more wintry colorway because I'm gonna use, I have a little ort jar, and I did um, autumn pennies by Shakespeare's Peddler and turn the lid into like a little pin cushion for the orchard. But I kind of want to switch it out seasonally. So I picked a kind of what I thought was a like wintry frozen kind of um, color palette. And I'm stitching it on that same 32 count opalescent white linen. And there's my start. And when you saw something with Michelle, bendy stitchy, and it's wintry, you use your Yoda snowflake. If you don't mind, it's Yoda. <laughs> and this, this piece of fabric is getting good use. See, I finished, this is one of my finishes for 12 days of stitching, deck the halls. There's Christmas Carol. <laughs> and now Alicia's Olives. <laughs> 
got to use all the fabric. Got to use all the fabric. And I had never really stitched opalescent before. I mean, for these wintry Christmas things, love it. I'm going to have to get some more of the white opalescent. All right, y'all. I came in under two hours. I feel pretty good about that. So that's it. 70 whips going into 2020. I am not doing no new starts, obviously. I have like four or five starts planned for January already. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not worried at all about my whip count. I would maybe like to not double it again this year. But since I'm not doing a like full mania of like all new starts, I think it'll be fine. Goal for 2020 to stay under 100. How about that? Under 100. We're good. Hope everyone is having a wonderful end of the year. Staying healthy and happy and safe. And I really hope you get a little bit of time off to relax before the beginning of the year. I am so much looking forward to another fun year of stitching with this community. And until 2021, cheers.